This is amazing. Now we have Python and JavaScript libraries for Olama. We are able to integrate Olama in our Python application and JavaScript application using just few lines of code. We are able to create RAG application using Olama, Mistral, Langchain, and ChromaDB. The entered URL will get converted to embeddings, then it can be fed into Olama. We'll be using ChromaDB to store embeddings and Mistral to run Olama. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to use Olama using Python own package. Implement Olama rag and also create a user interface like this. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, create virtual environments using conda create hyphen Olama Python equals 3.11 and then activate the virtual environment. Then pip install Olama. That installs the Olama package. Now let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First, import Olama. Next, we are going to use Olama.chat function and use Mistral model streaming equals true and we are passing a message. Message says, why is the sky blue? Then we are going to print out the results by using the for loop like this. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, make sure you have downloaded Mistral using Olama run Mistral. If you haven't downloaded Olama, make sure you go to Olama website and download it from here. You have Mac OS and Linux version. Once after you've downloaded Mistral, now I'm going to run Python app.py and then click enter. Now I can see the response is getting printed. You are running Mistral locally using Olama Python package. Just a quick overview on how to run a multimodal using Olama. Just import Olama, then with open, then provide the image as file. Then again, use olama.chat. I'm going to use lava model. Then I'm going to ask what is in this image and finally print out the response. This is the image I'm going to use. It is on my same folder. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, make sure you downloaded lava2 using olama run lava. Now you can run python multimodal.py. That's where my code got saved. And here is the response. It was able to read the image and able to describe what is in the image. In this image, there is a man playing cricket on the field and it's giving more information. Just want to quickly go through the list of features in Olama Python package. You can use olama.chat, olama.generate. It is same as chat, which is going to generate the response. We have olama list to list the total number of available models. Olama show, then you can Customize your own large language model using the model file, which we can use olama.create to create your own version of large language model. You are able to copy using olama.copy, delete using olama.delete, pull the image using olama.pull, push the image using olama.push, and create embeddings using olama.embeddings. That's a quick overview. Now we're gonna see how we can create olama rag using olama, mistral, langchain, and chromadb. Let's create a file called rag.py and then let's open it. First, we are going to import olama, then import beautiful soup, then recursive character text splitter from langchain, web base loader, chroma db, olama embeddings, string output parser, runnable pass through. Now I'm going to use a loader to load a web URL, which is this URL. This is the content of the page and it is running in localhost as you can see here just for testing purpose. So this function is going to load the content from this URL. As you can see here, first we are going to use a URL to load the content and that content will be converted to embeddings. So the second step is converting to embeddings and the third step is passing that to Olama. Now we are going to load the data which is copied from this URL using beautiful soup. Next we are going to split the text into chunks Next, we are going to use split documents to split the documents. Here in text splitter, we are initializing. Here, we are actually splitting the data. Now, the second step, which is creating embeddings and storing in vector store. We are going to use Olama embeddings. The model name is Mistral. And then we are using chroma db, chroma.from documents. We are going to pass the divided documents and also the embeddings. Now, we are going to create the retriever. It's just initializing the retriever. 
to retrieve the data. Next, we are using format documents. This is used to merge all the retrieved documents before sending it to large language model so that this can be used as a context. Now the third step is to define the OLAMA LLM function. This will automatically get the question and the context, then it will pass it to the OLAMA chat, which we have just seen before. The formatted prompt is also used as the content from the user. So we are sending both question and context to the large language model Mistral, and it will respond accordingly. Now we are going to put all these things together. That is called RAG. So we are going to define the RAG chain, create a function called RAG chain function. You provide the question. This is where the retriever.invoke function will convert the question into embeddings, and it will search the Chroma DB if any information related to the question provided. Then we are formatting the documents that is combining all the documents. Then we are sending that to the OLAMA LLM function. Now we're going to run the rack chain, ask a question, what is task decomposition and print the result. Information about task decomposition is present in the URL, which I've just shown, which you can see here. As a quick summary, we loaded the documents from the URL and split those documents. Secondly, we converted those document into embeddings and stored in the vector store. Third, we are passing the question and the context to the large language model using olama.chat. This is completely running locally on your computer and it's completely private. This can even run without internet. Even the URL which we are using is localhost. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, make sure you install Langchain, Beautiful Soup, Chroma DB, and Gradio using pip install. After that, python rag.py and then click enter. Now this is going to the URL, fetching the data, converting that to embeddings, storing that in embeddings. Then finally you're querying based on the question. And here is the final response. It's about task decomposition, as simple as that. Now you are able to create your own rag using Olama running locally on your computer. Just as a final step, I've added Gradio into the mix, converted everything to the function, such as load and retrieve documents, a rack chain, then finally passing the rack chain function into the GR interface, and we are launching that. This is a slightly formatted version to create a user interface. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python UI.py, and then click enter. And now there's a URL here. I'm going to open it. This is the user interface. I'm going to enter a URL from my website. I'm going to ask open interpreter use cases, and then click submit. Now it's processing. This is the URL it's going to browse and give us the information based on this data. And here is the information. In the context provider, here are some additional use cases of open interpreter, and it's giving us more information. Similarly, you are able to enter any URL and ask questions based on that. You might need to fine tune the code for much better results. This is a quick beginner's guide. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.